Crystal here and today I am doing a July favorites video and I don't think I have done a favorites video since last July favorites video which last time it was a collab with my great friend Avery Kate who is just killing it on YouTube right now. I'm actually gonna be in the same building as her later today. Okay and so this time I am doing a collab with my friend who I met at VidCon. Her name is Lexi and she is doing a summer favorites video so all the information will be on the I in one of the corners of your screen and in the description down below. She actually watched my VidCon tips video and then like commented and then added me on Snapchat and then um, we met and like she started up her channel and we're doing a club and I'm really excited because she's super duper awesome and sweet. Yeah, if this is the first time you're seeing my face and you just like, I want to watch a favorites video, then I'm Crystal and if you would like to subscribe, that'd be kind of pretty cool because I have some, some back to school videos coming up. But first, July favorites. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is beauty, and I'm going to start off with... This is the Boots Botanics um, Rosewater Toning Spritz, 100% organic. I got it from Target because I was doing a little bit of research and like watching a whole bunch of skincare videos, and I was like, I want to try a toner, but I want a spray, and I kind of want a rosewater one. It was pretty cheap, and it's pretty refreshing, and I actually really, really like it. I want to try the Pixie one next, but... I couldn't get myself to commit to buying that yet, so I got, you know, the JV League version, and um, I actually really like this, so we'll see where it goes. The next things I have are some Lush products. I got so into Lush, my friend Megan got me into Lush. Ugh. I actually really, really like it. I got the Mask of Mag Magne Magna Minty. Mask of Magna Minty, and uh, uh, I, Megan recommended it. She said everybody gets it. It's like a face mask that you put on, it leaves your face feeling really minty, and it's the green kind. You can actually look like you're in those movies where like they have the green face mask on, and I really like it. It's really refreshing. I love how it smells. I use it maybe twice or three times a week. It's just fantastic. The next thing I got, I was looking for a new face wash. I've been previously losing, using the Clean and Clear, um, I don't know, face wash, but... Um, I really, really, really like that one, but I wanted to try something new, so I got the Angels on Bare Skin after, like, doing some research and stuff, and I, I thought it was the best way to go, but when I got it, I really, really hated it. I did not like the smell. I did not like how crumbly it was. It, like, kept getting in my eye and stuff. After a few weeks, the smell, I've gotten used to it. I actually like it. Now I associate it with taking showers and being clean and, like, washing my face and stuff, and, um... I just figured that I wasn't mixing enough water with it, so it wasn't getting smooth and it was like crumbling and getting into my eye, but now it's not. Now I like it. Now it just exfoliates and makes me feel clean and bright. So, yes. So, I still don't really know how to do makeup, know how to put myself together like some of these amazing YouTubers, but I have gotten a BB cream because I was breaking out so, so bad. I don't know why. I think it was like the summer changing, you know, growing up, um, being a teenager and um, changing my hair. So I wanted a BB cream to try to, you know, just kind of a little bit of coverage and I got the Maybelline Dream Pure BB cream. The thing about buying makeup with my skin tone is so hard, like to when it's just drugstore, but I actually am like the very last shade of Maybelline, so, or like that I can find in the stores usually. I think they have a bigger range like elsewhere. And then I use the Fit Me uh, Set and Smooth, and I put this on like before all my videos to keep from being oily. And well, I, I kind of put it on a lot in the summer just so like, for some reason, I keep getting oily. And I don't know why, because I don't have oily skin, but I do, so, uh, I don't know. But yes, these two lifesavers this summer. It's another Maybelline thing and it's the Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara and this stuff I just I, this is the only thing I put on my eyebrows. I brush them um, I get them I get them threaded and then I you know like brush them with a spoolie and then I use this thing and that's my brow routine. I love it. 10 out of 10. I have three mascaras that I've been loving. It always rubs off but I think this was the last or the last sensational and the waterproof one. I always, this is my go-to when I like don't know what I'm exactly doing that day, but I know that I want to look almost cute. I put this on. I got the Marc Jacobs mascara because uh, Alexa Losi had said she'd been really loving this. So I wanted to try it. And at first I also really didn't like it because it didn't hold. 
but I really like the brush. I really like the way it went on. Like it looked fantastic when I first put it on, but then it wouldn't hold. So then I paired it up with the waterproof and it is doing pretty great together. I have it on right now, but I paired it with the uh, Maybelline, the Falsies Volume Express flared one. I meant to get the waterproof version, but the non-waterproof version is actually doing me pretty well. Yeah, I guess this is just like a Maybelline ad. I, this is not sponsored. I don't have, it, like nobody has contacted me for like sponsorships or anything. I just, Maybelline is cheap and drugstore and easy to find and... Okay, so on to hair. As you guys can see, I've been doing my brack and my curly hair recently. I asked you guys on Twitter what you want, like whether you liked my curly hair better or my straight hair, and curly won by a lot. I don't remember how much, but a lot. And then I like did a little Snapchat poll, and everybody said curly except for like three people. So in order to keep this sort of how it is right now, I'm still learning. I've been using the Ren Pure Coconut Cream Deep Treatment Mask, and I will put this on my hair in the shower after I've like washed it and conditioned it with like something else I will put this on my hair leave it in my hair I'll like rinse it really quickly just to like make it smooth out and then I will just leave it in like not wash it all the way out and that's how I like set my hair so the last two beauty-ish things are my two favorite scents by Bath and Body Works this one is the hibiscus guava fresca and I have been loving this man but out of season now. It was for the spring, but I stocked up and I love pairing it with the Bath and Body Works Pretty as a Peach. I'm pretty sure they still have this. I got it like last month. These two together smell so, so good. Okay, so now we're going more into fashion. Is this backpack, man? This backpack, I brought it to VidCon along with a different backpack. This was my mom's. I don't know where she got it, when she got it. She says pretty old, but. I love it so much. You can fit so much in here. I once fit like my Polaroid and a book and like, and I'll put like a notebook in here and like a wallet and sunglasses and just so much. And it doesn't get fat or uncomfortable. I love this bag. And so within this bag is my next favorite, which is just my Fujifilm Polaroid camera and I just love this thing. I've had it for two or three years now. Definitely, definitely my favorite thing in the entire universe. I gave one away for my New Year's resolutions, so if you'd like me to give one away, not in my next giveaway because that's coming up really soon, so subscribe if you're like ready for that giveaway, but just like this video and comment down below to let me know what you guys want to see in giveaways. These sunglasses. I have been loving these sunglasses. I feel like they make me look like I'm an interesting, almost semi-important person. I got them from Forever 21. Another favorite has just been like decorating my room. I love this so much. And these pillowcases, they're eyelashes. I have two of them. I DIY these, I saw them on the internet and I love them so much. So if you guys wanna see a DIY video coming up for me, please like this video. I'll totally be checking if you guys have been liking this video. And my last like thing that I can hold up and show you, is the Acai Berry by Sam Bazan. Like, I have been obsessed with making acai bowls. Yes, yes. If you have me on Snapchat, you see that almost every single morning. It's so freaking amazingly good. And I just have two song favorites, like music favorites this month, Black Bear. I have been listening to Black Bear so, so much. Oh, and you guys should listen to the song NYLA, which is like New York to LA. And then you should listen to the song Sandcastles by Beyonce and let me know if the intro sound the same. If you like Sandcastles, you'll probably like Black Bear and Y2 LA. And the song Toothbrush by DNCE is just now starting to like really kind of like be on the radio 25-8. But before that, it wasn't and I was always jamming it, jamming to it on in the car. So yes. That was my July favorites video, but I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, you should give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed and you've liked hearing me chat, you should subscribe, because that'd be kind of cool, and add me on Snapchat, add me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, um, if you want to add me on Musical.ly, you can. My name's I'm Crystal Smith on all of my social media. I love you guys so much, no hate, eat pizza, and make sure you check out Lexi's video, and I will see your lovely faces later! Bye!